Yo, what is up? We're back for the check on this Beaver Lodge. It's gonna get ugly today. I was out hunting, hunting this morning and it's gonna start raining. It's actually raining right now, but it's gonna start getting like really ugly and like pouring rain and then it's gonna turn into some other bad stuff. And, Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's going to turn into pouring rain and like snow, um, gale force winds, like all kinds of bad stuff, you guys. Um, it's supposed to start pouring anytime now, and then it's going to turn to like snow around like midnight, and tomorrow's going to be really ugly, so tomorrow's check will not be very fun. But anyway, we're back, hopefully pull some beaver out of the mega lodge here. Maybe a couple of rats too. I don't know. Let's check them out. All right, you guys. First trap on the lodge over there. Or I thought there'd be one for sure. Trap was actually sprung. Sprung and not moved whatsoever. <clears throat> that kind of tells me muskrat, but who knows? Anyway, we're at the next spot here. We did set a cast from out here yesterday, and I can see some fur floating down there. You made a good catch on it. Did definitely struggle more than I thought it would have or should have. <clears throat> still got still a strong trap. It's not a big beaver, but it's not a, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's from the spring. Mm. Mm. One beaver down, you guys. We might have to, we'll see. Might have to come back here in the spring depending on what we catch in the next few days here. No. Oh my gosh, you guys, I lied. That's not a duke, that's a victor. It's a brand new victor. I wonder why he struggled so much. Man, that was a good catch. Huh. Well then, definitely, well, I don't know if I should say he struggled, he just, he, he curled himself all up in that, oh, there's weeds over here. Like I said, I like to, uh, ooh, there we go, I like to make it so you can, Steady those springs, you guys. I don't want the trap so hard, you know, if you press these out that it doesn't, you know, as long as it's just nice and tight, doesn't move around a whole lot, you guys. It's really all you need to worry about. Putting my stuff back up here. You guys, I've caught so many beaver on caster mounds in the fall this year. 
Normally I don't tr use caster mount, you guys. <clears throat> You've noticed. But that 330 is already reset. Oh. Now I just gotta put a little bit of the special beaver jasm sauce here. Bearded man. Bearded man works really well, you guys. Whoa, you guys see that? I just had some, I almost launched it like right into the water. Put some on the, end, on the end of the stick there. Ram it in the bottom right behind the trap. And then get ready for more beavers. Just like that, you guys. Sweet, so fleet. All right, well, check the rest of these traps. Lodge over here, I'm just looking at these caster mounds. I don't see a beaver floating here anywhere. Oh, there's a big beaver right there. Huh. What happened to my, did I? I staked this thing down, oh yeah, table's right there. Right there, you guys, under the tree, there's a big beaver sitting there, you guys. <clears throat> Let's take a little walky walk here around. Just check the rest of the cell. It looks like, it kind of looks like the, oh, oh, right there, you guys. Right there is a dark blob, okay? <laughs> and then, boom, you guys, right there on the Duke. Beaver number four, you guys. I'm going to go see if I... That, that beaver almost made it all the way through that Duke. Well, I'm going to run and grab another Duke, and then we'll pull these beaver out of the traps. All right, you guys. Hope the wind noise isn't horrible here. But, as you can see... We got ourselves this is small beaver you guys like this is this is this is one of this year's beavers okay mm. I'm taking this beaver out I'm actually gonna replace this trap with a with the victor look at that little feller <clears throat> people kind of get upset and be like oh they're just babies but you know what babies turn into big beavers and they start cutting down big trees and that's just how it goes, you know? Nobody cares, or everybody cares, I should say, until they start cutting down all your trees, damaging all your property, flooding all your roads, you know? All your farmland, all your hunting land, all your private land. This is Minnesota, a land of 10,000 lakes and 100,000 beaver, you guys. That little fella wasn't going anywhere. The second that trap went off, he did not move. Little fella. There he is. Well, you guys, let's see here. Here's that run. Right where we left everything. Yep. So this is a this is a bigger beaver, you know. Probably like that first one we caught. I'd say, uh, you know, a one and a half year old. Next spring, it would get kicked out of the lodge to go make a colony of its own, which is probably right across the road or wherever. But there you guys go. Nice sized beaver there. A lot harder setting these 330s when you don't have any leverage to push down on them. I didn't even unwire my safety.
that beaver. We're gonna throw him over by the other beaver over there. Best we can anyway. Alright. The H stand produced the beaver, you guys. I ain't gonna lie, I, that that first trap I had a gut feeling that the H stand wouldn't produce a beaver, so I put the trap on the bottom. I still don't know if it was the right call. It just it was sprung. So naturally makes you think, uh oh, you know. Ooh. So when you guys are putting these uh, traps on these H stands, I think I probably I might have mentioned this in the in the set video even. But I'm going to mention it again, <laughs> just to tell you guys a little something. Depending where you want your triggers to be, you know, when I'm doing caster mount sets, I have the triggers on the bottom, because I don't want fur damage. But when I'm doing eight stands, um, what I like to do if I remember it, is I want the eight stand on the top, or I want the trigger on the top. Okay? Because... If a beaver does come out of the run, I don't want the beaver, you know, if it's walking in the bottom, I want it to put its foot up and hit that trigger right there because it'll fire it and then that'll be that'll be the end of that, you know. So at least if you have it up off of the or up on the top, they can get a foot in there and get their head in there before the trap fires. that up quick like quick enough like I should say let's see here make sure everything's still in the same spot I left it oh yeah yep yeah. oh uh-huh yeah the beaver runs still here you guys that's a good thing thought I thought it might have floated away all right just gonna center this trap between these two dead sticks Put two dead sticks in the bottom to channel the beaver right through the center of this H stand. It works sometimes. Shove it right into the bottom like so. And then like I said, I, I, I kind of rock it a little bit. Countersink that bar into the bottom. There we go. Each stands are definitely easier to set and faster. You guys, we got, well, we got the beaver we just took out, and then there's a big beaver right there we caught in this caster mound. We're going to take him out of the trap quick and give you a little looky-loo. See, this is why, you guys, this is why I like a nice, long cable like this, okay? I got up here, didn't even know if I had a beaver, because... I couldn't see nothing floating here, you know. That beaver can get out and away from the shoreline so other beavers can't see it. I've found that they can get spooky. They see a, they see their buddies floating around, you know. Like, why is, why is Jim not high-fiving me or whatever, you know. Well, we know why. And then they start getting skittish around sets and this and that. Come on, let's go. What's going on here? Where's my... Where's the dog at? Oh, there we go. There we go. Alright. Got that cable right there. There we go, you guys. This... Ah, I don't even know... I thought this was a bigger beaver, you guys. This looks like the same size as that one I just caught. In fact, it is. And I don't think these are the adults. I mean, they could be. I don't know, they're about the size of two-year-olds. I don't know, you guys. 
we're definitely going to reset and find out tomorrow. Yo, we are back for our second and final check on the old backyard beaver lodge here where they've demeciated everything. I'm going to show you here the main area where they've just cut down a lot of trees and just a quick thing of it here at some point, but it's raining and ugly out today. It's going to get really bad out, I guess, <clears throat> at some point here. So let's see if we got some beeve. All right, you guys, here's some of that destruction I was talking about. Um, popple trees here. Oh, yeah. Just leveled them. And across the fence there, the neighboring property. They are just taking them down. All along the fence line, you guys. Look at these trails from them cutting and pulling. Tree there cut off the ground. Big trees cut off over there. <clears throat> and then look at these trails. Like one of these days I should do a, I should just do a snaring video where I'm snaring these beavers on land. That'd be pretty sweet, wouldn't it? But there, there, and then they all come down and right here, they can join at the river, I mean at the water's edge, right here to one massive spot where they're pulling it out to that feed pile. Crazy. All right, we got this guy here. Mm. So this is an old beaver lodge that they've just mudded up a little bit and put some stuff on. This track was sprung yesterday. I'm honestly not sure if there's anything in it. I looked in, in I kind of looked down there and looked it's kind of dark. Like there could be. Oh yeah. Okay, I see guys. Just looking down here, I can see something dark down there. Ugh. There we go. Exactly what we needed, you guys. Very small beaver, but you know what? Like I said, that beaver takes trees. So that's one beaver down, you guys. Well, <laughs> there's a beaver in that one. A beaver in this one, you guys, for sure. Little guys, though. Very little guys. other one quick um, I can't see my eight stand but it looks pretty dark down there so it might be another beaver a fourth one. Oh, this is a big beaver actually you guys I thought this was a little guy nope that's a big beaver big beaver you guys this is an adult one of the, one of the adults out of the lodge nice big blanket you guys okay so not to get weird on you guys but you guys ask me a lot of times when how if i can tell the females well you can see that this one had been nursing at some point in the summertime so this is definitely the big female out of the lodge that's a big beaver look at the tail on that monster Tankzilla boys. Four. Well, this trap, this beaver has a, her trap has a beaver. That's four for four, you guys. Now I don't see the top of, oh, I do see the top of my H stand. 
Oh wait, but there's a tail. That's definitely a tail, you guys. So I'm looking and I noticed something, you guys, okay? Oh my gosh, I shouldn't have shoved this at the bottom so far. I caught that beaver in that run over there going into the lodge. Caught this one going into the lodge. How do you catch both beaver going into the lodge when these are the only two holes? There's no other holes around here. Solid bottom. Um, yeah, there's, I mean, there's literally somewhere along that high bank over there is, an, is another bank den that I don't have covered, obviously, because that's why I trapped through the ice. Oh, my gosh. Anybody that traps in clay knows how hard it is to pull a stick out of a clay bottom run. Okay. There's a, that's a beaver though, I can see him. There's a beaver in there, I can see him. There he is, you guys, right there. Oh, another small beaver, but still, that's a, that's a quadruple two days in a row. Four for four on these sets. Uh, I won't show it on video, but I'm going to pull these out quick and I'm going to give you guys a little recap. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am winded, pooped out, you name it. Oh, I got to pull these traps today because I'll be gone for, you know, like three or four days. And I don't want to let the trap sit that long. I don't even think we legally can. I never have before, so I don't know. But we've got three small, small beaver again today and one really big blanket, you guys. This is the mama. This is the matriarch, the one that's not going to have babies next spring. No. Two days, eight beaver, you guys. Four beaver per check. Can I call that a double quadruple? Does that make any sense to you guys? Um, Three of the eight beaver came from runs. The other five came from caster mounds, you guys. I'm telling you. People always ask the easiest way to trap beaver, you know. Um, really, caster mounds are the way. I mean, you caster mounds are more work than just setting it in the run or on, on the lodge, you know. But I, your, your catch percentage, you know, might be higher with these because you can set them along the shoreline. Anywhere the beaver are traveling, you're going to catch beaver. Just like this. Uh, traps, you know, I'm using. I got a 330 Connie Bar. Uh, Victor 330, by the way, 10 by 10 trap. I, so I would recommend you guys get 10 by 10s. Smaller traps work like the Duke 330, you know, they're 9 by 10. Caught a million beaver in those as well. I just, ever since I started using the 10 by 10 trap, I just have more confidence in that trap. Uh, use some Bearded Man Beaver Lure on all my caster mounds. Uh, yeah. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video and the check was worth the wait. Um, some of these videos you guys have noticed <clears throat> are noticing maybe I, I do the set and the check on the same video. Generally, when I do that, it's a small lodge where, you know, it's two traps and there's maybe two or three beaver, you know, um, because, you know, that, that's going to be a short video. The reason I don't do or the reason I've been doing the ch checks separate than the sets on these big lodges is sets take more time. I want to show you guys more in depth of what I'm doing. Um, and then it's kind of fun to anticipate the catch, especially when you got a day like the last couple days, you guys. Anyway, ice fishing will be here in no time. Temps are dropping. Um, back to when this comes out, I don't know. It's There might be already some little bit of snow on the ground. Who knows? It's supposed to snow tonight. Anyway, you guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe.